The Golden Knights take on the Flyers, 1 o'clock Philadelphia. The Flyers are $1.35, total 6. Nick will move toward the Flyers. Flurry's in net for the Knights, Elliott for the Flyers. Phillies winners in 2 of 4 for the season. Vegas dropped 3 of 4 away from home. The Golden Knights have also dropped 8 out of their last 9, dating back to last season. Now, total-wise, the Flyers are 4-0 to the over thus far in the season. Vegas is allowing nearly 4 goals per game on the road this year as well. I think I got a side with the Flyers on this one. Give me the chalky Flyers, minus 135 in the over. Six goals in this one. Next game, the Oilers take on the Rangers, 1 o'clock New York. The Oilers are the $1.20 favorites on the road, total six. Tablets in net for Edmonton, Lundquist for the Rangers. New York's dropped three of four as the underdog. They're also winless in two meetings against sub-500 teams. The total's gone 3-0 and to the under in Lundquist's last three starts. New York's also 3-1 and to the under when the line was six or higher. Give me the Edmonton Oilers, minus 120. And the under, six goals in this one. And with that said, welcome to the show. Got some lines and personal leans out for Saturday's NHL action. But before we get into that, I just want to remind you to check me out at patreon.com slash brockpage. And with a documented win percentage of 71.4% for my last 21 picks on that website, you're costing yourself valuable information each and every day. You're not subscribed. Now, memberships begin at just $1.99 per month. There's also plenty of free content there as well. So once again, please just feel free to quickly hit that pause button right now and open up your browser. All you got to do is type in patreon.com slash Brock Page. It'll only take a few seconds. Link is in the description section below. And if you are a current patron of mine and you are currently watching me right now, I simply cannot thank you enough. You most certainly make it all worth it. And with all that said and done, let's just go ahead and jump right back into some more lines and personal leans for our Saturday slate of NHL action. All starts Eastern Standard Time. And on deck, we've got uh, Kings Senators, 2 o'clock Ottawa. The Kings are $1.45, total six. Nickel move toward Los Angeles. Campbell's for LA, Anderson's for the Sens. The Sens are taking on an LA squad who's dropped seven out of their last nine straight up, dating back to last season. The Kings are also averaging a measly two goals a game on the road. Now, total-wise, Ottawa's gone 4-0 to the over so far on the season, 2-0 to the over in their two games on their home ice. They're also giving up five goals a game for the season and five and a half goals per game on their home ice as well. So oddly enough, I do think Ottawa will get the job done, but I have a feeling we'll see a bunch of scores in this one. Should be a fun one to watch. Give me the underdog Senators plus a buck 25 in the over six goals in this one. Next game, Red Wings, Bruins, 3 o'clock Boston. The Bruins are the heavy $2.70 uh, money line favorites. Total six. Nickel move toward Boston. Now, despite the heavy price point, uh, Howard is for the uh, Detroit. Wow. What a read there. Uh, Boston's 3-0 and when laying the juice. 2-0 is the official home favorite. They've, had, uh, they've been a product of good scheduling as well. 3-0 and in their games versus losing, uh, losing teams. Now, total-wise... Uh, Boston's been scoring a ton of goals at home, five goals a game on average at the Garden, and uh, that Detroit defense also finds themselves giving up nearly four goals a game on average themselves. So with all that said and done, it looks like I'm going to be pretty chalky in this one as well. Give me the Boston Bruins, minus one and a half on the puck line, and the over six goals in this one. Next game, Hurricanes, Wild, six o'clock Minnesota, the Wild. Is laying a dollar fifty-five total six. Morazics for the Hurricanes, Dubnik's for Minnesota. But despite being a solid favorite in this one, the Wild have really struggled to put the puck in the net in three games. Just two goals a game on average. Six and three to the under in their last nine, going back to last year. They're taking on a Carolina a Carolina squad who's three zero and one on the season and putting up four point three goals a game on average. Carolina's also gone 5-0 in their last five puck line plays dating back to last year as well. And total-wise, the Canes went 5-2 to the over in their last seven on the road in Minnesota. So with all that said and done, I'm going to ride with the road dogs in this one. Give me the Carolina Hurricanes plus $1.35 in the over. Six goals in this one. <clears throat> 
Next game, Maple Leafs, Capitals, 7 o'clock, Washington. The Caps are $1.20, total 7. The Caps are 2-0 in their games at home this season. 5-0 straight up in their last five at home, dating back to last season. They are taking on a Toronto team who's dropped 10 out of their last 12 when playing on the road against Washington. Now, total-wise, we're seeing one of the highest opening totals I've seen in uh, quite some time. That said, though, Washington's giving up just one goal a game on average at home this season. The total's also gone under in six out of Washington's last nine meetings at home with Toronto. So with all that said and done, I'm going to go ahead and uh, chalk it up in this one. <laughs> Give me the Washington Caps minus 120 and the under seven goals in this one. Next game, Blue Jackets Lightning, 7 o'clock Tampa Bay. The Lightning are the $1.90 favorite total six. Ten cent move toward the Lightning already. Uh, Tampa's 7-3 and three straight up in their last 10 with Columbus. They're also 8-3 and three in their last 11, taking on Columbus at home. Now, total-wise, Tampa's scoring less than two goals a game on average. They're also taking on a Columbus team who's giving up just 2.7 goals a game themselves. So, although I think the Lightning's going to get the job done, I'm not so sure it warrants a total of six goals. I'm going to lean under in this one. Give me the Tampa Bay Lightning. Minus 190 for some very expensive money line cash. I understand that. And the under. Six goals in this one. Next game, Canucks. Panthers, 7 o'clock Florida. The Panthers are the $2 favorite in this one. Total open six, up to six and a half. Nickel move toward the Panthers. Uh, Markstrom's for the Canucks. Reamers for the Panthers. Florida's scoring just two and a half goals a game on average and find themselves winless in two contests this year. The Canucks on the other side are scoring four goals a game and are 9-2 and two on the puck line in their last 11 dating back to last season. Now total-wise, three out of Vancouver's first four games did go over the total. The total's also gone over in six out of the Canucks' last eight games. So with all that said and done, looks like I'm going to take another road dog in this one. Give me the Vancouver Canucks plus $1.70 in the over. Six and a half in this one. Next game, Penguins Canadians, 7 o'clock Montreal. The Penguins are the $1.70 favorite on the road. Total six. Nickel moved toward the Penguins in the early going here. Now, Pittsburgh's been dominant in this series the past couple of seasons. Seven and three straight up in their last ten. The Pens are also winners in six out of their last eight on the road. The Canadians on the other side haven't scored a goal yet on their home ice. They've also dropped five out of their last six, taking on the Penguins in the city of Montreal. Now, total-wise, Montreal is both scoring and giving up just 2.3 goals a game on average through three contests. Meanwhile, the Penguins are 5-1 and one to the under in their last six playing on the road against Montreal. So with all that said and done, I'm going to swing for the fences on this one. Give me the Pittsburgh Penguins minus one and a half on the puck line and the under six goals in this one. Next game, Ducks, Stars, 8 o'clock, Dallas. The Stars are $1.50, totals five and a half. Dallas is scoring four goals a game on average, five and two straight up in their last seven games dating back to last season. They're taking on an Anaheim squad who's scoring just 2.7 goals a game themselves. Uh, themselves and has dropped four out of their last five head-to-head -head meetings with the Stars. Now, total-wise, Dallas is 2-1 to the over thus far in the year, depending on where you're shopping at. The Ducks are also 1-1 one one to the over in their two games away from home as well. So with all that said and done, I think we're making a bit of a contrarian play here on the total. Probably see a good amount of under money. I'm leaning toward the uh, the other way. So give me the Dallas Stars minus 150 in the over. Five and a half goals in this one. Next game, Islanders Predators, 8 o'clock Nashville. The Preds are 240, total six. 20 cent move toward the Predators already. The Preds are just one and seven ATS in their last eight at home. One and four ATS in their last five against the Islanders. The total's gone over in seven out of Nashville's last nine when playing the Islanders. I don't like a puck line play for the Preds because they just don't cover. And uh, on the other side, the Islanders are 8-1 and one ATS in their last nine themselves. So give me the New York Islanders plus one and a half in the over. Six goals in this one. 
Next game, Blues Blackhawks, 8.30 Chicago. St. Louis is a buck and a quarter, total six. Ten cent fade of the Blues in the early going here. But despite being the road favorite, St. Louis is just two and seven straight up in their last nine, dating back to last season. They also find themselves giving up a rotund 4.3 goals a game thus far in the season. Chicago on the other side, scoring machines, 4.5 goals a game on average, six goals a game they're scoring at home. The Blackhawks are also 4-0 to the over thus far on this season. 3-0 to the over for the Blues, depending on where you're shopping at. This should be uh, a really fun one to watch here tonight in the United Center. If you can get this game, watch it. I think it's going to be a good one. Give me the underdog Blackhawks and the over six goals in this one. Next game, Sabres, Coyotes, 9 o'clock, Arizona. The Coyotes are the $1.30 favorites in this one. Totals 5.5. Arizona's won just 3 of 10, taking on the Buffalo Sabres. Uh, taking on the Sabres. Now, uh, Arizona's also scoring just one goal a game on average for the season. They're taking on a Buffalo team who's 7-2-1 against them in their last 10. Buffalo's also 7-1 straight up in their last 8 on the road against Arizona. Now total-wise, we are looking at 5-1 to the under in Buffalo's last 6, taking on the Coyotes in Arizona. Meanwhile, the Coyotes went 3-0 to the under thus far on the season. So with all that said and done, Got to lean toward the road dogs in this one. Been taking a lot of road dogs lately. Give me the Buffalo Sabres plus $1.10 and the under 5.5 goals in this one. Next and final game for the show, Flames Avalanche, 10 o'clock Colorado. The Avalanche are the $1.15 favorites, total 6. Colorado's just 3-7 and seven in their last 10 meetings with the Flames. Calgary's gone 12-6 and six straight up in their last 18 on the road in Colorado. Calgary scoring just 2.6 goals a game on average on the road. Colorado's allowing just 1.5 goals a game on average at home. So although I do think the Flames will get the job done, I don't foresee a whole lot of scoring in Saturday night's matchup. Give me the underdog, Calgary Flames, and the under, 6 goals in this one. All right, folks, that is going to do it for me. But before I get out of here, I just want to remind you to check me out at patreon.com slash Brock Page. And with a documented win percentage of 71.4% for my last 21 picks on that website, you're costing yourself valuable information each and every day you're not subscribed. Now, packages begin at just $1.99 per month. There's also plenty of free content there as well. So once again, please feel free to just quickly hit that pause button right now and open up your browser. All you got to do is type in patreon.com slash Brock Page. It'll only take you a few seconds. Link is in the description section below. And if you are a current patron of mine and you are watching this program right now, I simply cannot thank you enough, all of you. You most certainly make it all worth it. And most importantly, thank you for watching today's program. I hope you enjoyed all this great free information. And please don't forget to check me out at patreon.com slash Brock Page.